just rolled. We spent the we spent the opening moments uh, continuing our various plans from the session before, uh, where I went and saw the other blacksmith in town. I went and saw the other blacksmith in town to ask about the symbol. Got fucking nothing. Um, and then uh, Paige went to the library for something. I definitely remember what. I also wanted to check the symbol. Yeah, and then I joined you to look for the symbol, and we didn't find shit. <laughs> Uh, Woots went and saw their, uh, their par- their parental figure, whose n- name I remember. Do you? No. <laughs> I'll give you a anyway. hint. They have a kind of apple named after them. Granny Smith. Close. Damn it, I thought I had it with that one. Granny Ann. Granny Ann. That's an apple? I think so. It might be a Mandarin. Huh. I don't know. Anyway, Woods went and... I have to uh... Google. <laughs> Is it an apple or a Mandarin? What makes a Mandarin different from an orange? That's the real question. (laughs) Uh, Woods told uh, Granny Ann about their their various adventures, as well as uh, showing off a bunch of magical trinkets and asking them if there was any trouble in the the slums as of late. And I don't believe she had anything to share on that front. But they did say, uh, but she did say she'd keep an eye out. And then uh, really nothing to show for it, like a whole lot of nothing, which is, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you go researching for things and uh, you don't find it. Uh, Okay, yeah, Granny Ann was known for their uh, recipe books, particularly desserts. Oh. I was way off on that one. <laughs> Are okay. Mandarins and Mandarins the same thing or different? Man, I, I, fucking I have no idea. Fruits are weird. We grow peaches. No, that's Georgia. You want to know something really we grow weird? Oranges here. Oranges aren't naturally orange. That's crazy. Which came first, the fruit or the color? Clearly the color. Well, I mean, and I that, think orange know. originally described red or something like that. I might have that backwards. Oh. Anyway. History of names. <laughs> color theory aside, uh, pretty much what happened last session. Uh, then we fucking we talked for a long time at the house about various things. Mostly our failure to figure out anything in our day of research. And we went and got massages and baths. And it was nice. And we just got to chill out for a while. <laughs> yeah, we decided to go rest our mind. We were we just yeah. paranoid we at were everything. Very, very paranoid. You were very paranoid at everything. At some point I just decided, eh, whatever happens, happens. And that I was, was that. laughing the whole week when I remember that Paige got a massage from a fully <laughs> built um, arc. And it was just nice. And we finally got to chill for a bit. We were like, man, we should probably like take breaks sometimes. And that was about everything that happened. I don't think I forgot anything super important. Probably.
Yeah, I think that's good. Sounds about right. Um, hey, gain your inspiration. Quit messaging me, you worthless bastards. I'm trying to do something right now. Oh, you forgot the, the highlight of last session. Huh? Our new cleaners arrived. Oh, yes, our kobold cleaners. I almost forgot about them. We got five new maids, effectively. Adorable maids, are that? Kobold maids. Now, we're at home trying to figure out what our next move is. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Right now, more or less, we only the only lead we have would be that upcoming fight. <laughs> oh yeah, when is that? When is that fight coming up? Is it like a couple days or? Uh, they did not say. So hopefully. Well, we should <laughs> we should probably go get the confirmation on that. You should probably you probably shouldn't make a guesswork of things like this, unless they're going to be in town for a while, in which case it's all right. Hmm. Probably should go check anyway, just so we we can get there at our earliest convenience. Changing my spells around. Fair. I should probably I should probably do that too. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Ugh. Man, that mango one is weird. Mango what? It's a monster. Oh yeah, it's I the had that mango... one. It was kind of weird. It's the mango loco. And it's, it's one of the newer ones. Uh, is it? I guess it's kind of new, yeah. It's been out for a little while, but it's relatively now. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like, it's very mango, but it's also got, like, the, the bitterness that's pretty interesting. It's nice. I don't mind it. I don't it wasn't know exactly I'm... my cup of tea. Yeah, man. There was four of them in the pack, so I'll be damned if I don't drink them all. <laughs> I felt the same way. <laughs> we drank the whole can, even though I knew I didn't like it off the first taste. We don't waste money around here on consumables. <laughs> even if you don't like it, you drink or eat it! <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me when um, me and my friends, we went to a uh, a like, candy shop in a city near us. And they had like they had all these uh these sodas with gross names. I think I told you about this last time, maybe. One of them was called Pirate's Piss, and it was, like, banana-flavored. <laughs> the and the one I got... And the one I got was called, like, Popped Pimple, and it was marshmallow-flavored. And I fucking hated it. It was the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. But I did it, because I'm... I don't waste my friend's money. Fair enough. Um, pirate's piss. That's yeah, one, yeah, one of them was pirate's piss. Alright, so uh, what's the plan? Oh, oh I guess it's only verbal. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Just fucking cast. I could cast Cure Wounds and it would be better than this. Fuck you. <laughs> For what? I'm looking at Prayer of Healing and it's... I Sure, you could do it out of combat, and, but it's a second level spell. It's like, if I'm a, if I'm a cleric, I'm not going to waste one of my second level spell slots on that when I could just do Cure Wounds, which is better. That's fair. Although I guess it does add your spell casting ability modifier. So it's a bit better. But still, it's stupid. Uh well 
I think the I think it would be at least the next time I hit the town, I'm probably gonna check when that fight is going down. And then after we do that fight, I'd say the actual like next thing we should take care of is probably uh, the one thing we have like a a decent bit of info on, which is the mortician. We should probably maybe wait a bit before we head out there again. Uh, it's for the best. Which is why I said after the fight, maybe we take some time to ourselves, uh, just kind of mellow out for a couple days, and then we can head back out there. Sounds like a plan. Resistance to all damage? Wow. Uh, oh. DM, can I ask a really annoying question? Go for it. What season is it? Um, last I mentioned it was... Fall, I believe? Oh. Okay. But that was pre time the skip. So. The season's effect is uh, under dark at all? Uh, there's probably more water flow down here in like winter and spring, but. Uh, okay. Temperature wise, probably not all that much. Mm hmm. In sight, greed. I don't got all this money for these spells. <laughs> it's almost like we're quite wealthy as a group. <laughs> you just kind of have to have the money on half the time. Yeah. Hmm. Do I want utilities or do I want to keep doing big damage? That's my whole shoulder. Ouchie, ouchie. <laughs> what does this do? Oh, fuck off. No, that's worthless. That's a fourth level spell. Get out of here. Oh. Hmm. Well, if we're not doing anything any particularly important, uh. Carl's got a fight to train for. <laughs> Ooh, good point. Yeah, well. I think for the Hansel's day is really just like it's probably gonna go um, figure out when that fight is happening. Paige is going to do his training, which is sitting around in the couch with a book. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> How else are wizards gonna learn new spells? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta fucking read, man. Unless you're an XP wizard, in which case you can just be like, why the fuck would I bother reading? I can go <laughs> out into the forest that has a little too much monsters and fucking learn all my spells that way. Uh, secretly, it's not like a spell book or anything. It's like dwarf erotica. <laughs> 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 Which mostly involves like oh my bank God. keeping. I'm sorry, what? And so, which mostly involves like bank keeping. I... You know, because dwarves' greatest obsession is wealth. Speaking of dwarves, has Paige gained his new beard already? Oh, yeah. We forgot to roll for that for a couple days, didn't we? We <laughs> forgot. We forgot. Uh, the fuck is it? Sometimes. Oh yeah, it's just a flip of the coin every day. A well, flip of the coin and you maybe get a beard and you're like, fuck yeah. 
Vestiges are cool. Mine's still full of claws. <laughs> I hate the way that facial hair feels on my face. Well, <laughs> you have a beard. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, but Paige is definitely taking care of his beard recently. Outside. <laughs> it's like a nice, thick, full wizard beard, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Eventually, he's just gonna be tripping over that shit. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. He's going to put the beard around his belt. Ah, uh, you know what that reminds me of? Hold on. <laughs> it seems uh Also, Eesh. let me roll something. <clears throat> I'm headed out. I've got... Okay, Paige's beard is black. Right. Because I have two different colors. <laughs> My beard is, oh. is uh, lighter blonde than my hair. Oh. Hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Can't find the exact thing I'm looking for. Damn it. Oh, God. It only lasts for an hour and it costs a hundred gold pieces. Well, that's actually kind of cheap as far as uh, spell casting goes. That's true. I mean, I've got Revivify just like ready to go. And that's if an expensive spell. I mean, if it doesn't consume the item, then it's just. You can <laughs> only, only need to buy it once. That's true. Well, if it has a price value attached to it, typically, uh. It is, uh. used I've up. I've still got two diamonds just waiting. I thought oh, when man. you had gold, you needed to specifically buy the component. Yeah, and... you have to specifically buy it, and it's always used up if it has a gold value attributed to it. Yeah. Really? Well. Thought, when... uh... thought it only consumed when it said, well, shit. I don't know. That's, that makes those spells <laughs> very more, more expensive. <laughs> A lot more expensive. Yeah, you'd only need to get one really expensive diamond and you'd just always be able to cast Resurrection. <laughs> if that was the case. Ooh. But alright. Krell and Paige are set to their training. Hansel heads out. It's like midday-ish. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not like they'll jump me in town. They haven't done anything wrong. As far as they know. I mean, you, ah! can, <laughs> you can just turn invisible and vanish on them, so... <laughs> yeah, if I really wanted to spend my 4th level spell slot. <laughs> well, I mean, 4th level well, spell slot, getting jumped by assassins. That's a good point. <laughs> I probably and I probably couldn't take a couple of assassins by myself. Oh. And Revivify does say that the spell consumes the diamond. Yeah, that's why I have. That's why I had three of them, and <laughs> no, now I have no, two. two. You traded one so, of them. <laughs> yeah, I traded one of them. I didn't even use it to cast the spell. <laughs> 
fun. But yeah, you head into town, as you do. You get all your credentials, so getting through the checkpoints is no big issue. In fact, the ones closest to our house are try starting to uh, recognize us on the street, so... Not too difficult to get out of the neighborhood anymore. Hmm. And you make your way to the Temple of Greed. Let's go. Uh, not, not a lot to do here. Hansel's not a gambling man for the most part. Just trying to figure out when that fight's going down. Maybe they have posters or... No, they don't. They have to talk to somebody. Damn it. Oh my god, it's everywhere. There we go. All fixed. Hmm. Wow. This place is, uh... It's not bustling, but it is, uh, got quite a few people. Oh, Mouse, please cooperate with me for once. Alright, here, I will... Oh, God. Oh, son of a bitch, you worthless friggin' couch, God damn it! Ah! There we go. Alright, we're good. Everything's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, everything's fine. My arm bent in a weird way, but it's all it's all good. My couch was uh my futon couch was giving me trouble. <laughs> I mean they probably recognize me. I could probably just go on through, I think. I've been here a couple times now, I think once welcome back yes um i heard from a a friend that a, a supposed big name or strong fighter was supposed to be coming through soon i just wanted to get some uh, confirmation on dates ah uh, yes the first of the exhibition bouts will be taking place tomorrow evening Perfect, perfect, thank you. That's, that is incredibly helpful. <laughs> I'll jot that down in my little notebook. I'm glad I could be of oh, service. Hey. Is there anything yes. else you might be needing? Um... Well, shot in the dark, but uh, I'll, I'll present the little piece of wood with the symbol. You wouldn't happen to recognize this, would you? glances down at it. I don't even know exactly what it is you're showing me. Perfect. <laughs> then, uh, nothing else. I think we're done here. Alright, then. On your way. <laughs> yes. Now, what do I do? Ah. Oh, yeah, that I reminds know. me. When is the, the meeting, the, the next meeting with the town councillors? Uh, they haven't gotten back to your previous letter yet. Okay. Woo. Excuse me for a moment. I'll be right back. Alrighty. What the fuck? Apparently I've had a splinter in the ingrip of my fingers for like the longest time. Those always hurt. Yeah, I just happened to move my hand weird across the mouse pad and it snagged. And, uh, did not feel great. <laughs> Alright, Hansel back out on the town. The crawl room is, like, almost directly above you. So you just hear all types of clattering from upstairs while you're trying to read. 
<laughs> Constant thumping of knives hitting wood. Alright, I'm back. It's just like every now and then, just like a heavy thump is something big and weighty hits the ground. What? What did I miss? <laughs> Uh, talking about, uh, Paige downstairs trying to read while Krella's upstairs doing her training. Oh. Uh, Paige just like me, he zones out when he's reading. <laughs> like, like, people could literally start touching him who not know this. Uh, you should <laughs> not have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you, that's how you get hurt in various bad ways <laughs> that's how you get pranked constantly <laughs> there we go back to business what to do next those could just wait for tomorrow evening to roll around please about to read this fucking book that I got I still don't know what this thing is about. He just said, here's a book. And then left again. I can't win with this guy. <laughs> I, make a, I make a circle so I can contact him. He says nothing. He gives me a book, doesn't tell me anything about it. <laughs> Fucking just... Whatever. Fine. Guys are fucking weirdo. What was the point in giving me the power if you're not gonna at least, I don't know, tell me to do something with it? That is weird. I need to go back to that circle sometime. We live strange lives, don't we? Yeah. I've got. I don't think normal people would be adventurers. I mean, for God's sake, I've got, I've got two magic dads. One of them tolerates me, and the other doesn't talk to me. <laughs> so, you know, a normal family relationship. Wow. Not only that, but they literally split your soul in two. And yeah, have, that's the big one. And have it reanimating a, your own corpse. You know, maybe I should probably go soon to the sewer and try that circle again. I just realized Hansel and Krell are exact opposites. You hear one soul that splits into two, crawls two souls that become one. <laughs> That's true. Oh, it's Woots. They joined the game. Yay. Perfect. Well, maybe that's what I'll spend. I, I spent the downtime we had like 20 sessions ago making a magic circle. And then it didn't work when I used it. <laughs> so, maybe that's what I'll spend my day doing, is going back to the sewer to try and make it work again. I mean, that won't your boat. What else have I got to do? Maybe well, something welcome. fun will happen. Hello, Sam. Oh. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, sorry I'm late, guys. No worries, you did right. not miss a whole lot. No trouble at all. Not what a miss. <laughs> uh, Hansel went to the temple, figure out when that fight was. Age is reading, well, and Krell is training. And yeah. now I'm going to the sewers. <laughs> See you now. Always fun. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. 
Has anything bad ever happened to us in the sewers? A lot of bad yes. things, realistically. <laughs> no. Nothing bad has ever happened in the sewers. Sure. <laughs> Only thing I can remember happening in this city, this city's sewers, is uh, we interrogated some guys and then I paid them my diamond. So, mostly positive experience. Ah, mm. now I just have to. There no, was that cool. wicked acid trip that happened when none of us were around. Yeah, I wasn't there for that. <laughs> so, it didn't happen to us, just our allies. Where the fuck did I paint it? I don't remember. Right near. Why do you know that? Why do you know I... that, and I don't? The GM, you know, waiting go. for this lizard here to become a major plot point. For some reason, I doubt that. Well, uh, in my Saturday game, my wizard folk, one of his usual transformations is just turning into a regular old wizard. <laughs> yeah, why not? Usually to just hide from things or get away. So... It's like, I don't want to be part of this fight, and now I'm a lizard in your back pocket. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, why not? That seems like a pretty good way to get out of things, if you ask me. Uh, I'm not double-clicking. Stop bringing that menu up. You went the wrong way. What? No, Over here. Oh, shit. God. Ah, fucking God. Wrong room. I already have to be down in the floor, so I can't remember my way, and I just fucking have a... What? What do I stand to gain from talking to this guy? Anything? At all? He, does, he won't give me no magic, so... <sighs> maybe I can... Maybe it's just... I'm just here because I'm bored. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? All I'm trying to do is uh, contact a horrifically powerful undead that has control over half of my soul. In the sewers. In the sewers. The <laughs> perfect place for any number of creatures slash uh, evil folk who want me dead to stab me in the back. And nobody would ever know. Oh boy. <laughs> Whatever. Time to sit down and try and work this shit out. <laughs> yeah. I just realized something. Your Warlock patron never explained to you how to contact him, so you're just trying oh. shit, hoping it works. Again, this guy rolled up, helped revive me, and was like, alright, here's some magic, idiot. Bye. <laughs> And the waiter, he came back and was like, hey man, here's a book with more magic and shit you don't understand. Bye. I was like, fucking... <laughs> it's okay, though. I'm gonna figure this out. This, this, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. Even if I have to, like, spend the rest of my day here. <laughs> uh. How would you even know what arcane sigils to put in your circle? It's probably in, like, the Book of Shadows that he gave me. Probably. And even then, I don't know how to, like, activate it. I don't know if I need to apply certain things to it. I don't know if it was the right choice to draw it out of blood. Uh, I mean, it took me days to do this. <laughs> You can only slice open a hand so many times in one day before you're like, alright, that's enough times. 
Well, a goat costs two silver, so that would have been like a way easier option. <laughs> two silver for a goat, really? Sounds about right. How much does an ox cost? <laughs> Good question. Probably more since it's a work animal. Mm. So it was the right choice to steal it. Him. To steal him. He was his own creature. And his name was Maurice. Oh. Ah! So you spent you several it? hours just trying to get this. Not summoning this circle, is... but uh God, what do you even call this? Speaking circle. <laughs> Sending circle. Circle. <laughs> I have no idea. Messaging circle. Contact. God, imagine some random homeless person was just wandering around down here and just heard you try, overheard you trying to figure this shit out. God damn it! Just walks up on you preferring fucking blood rituals and shit. So sick of these, these bastards. They give me magic and then they say, Alright, enjoy your zero guidance after we helped revive your soul. What's the point? Did you just feel bad or like what? God damn it. Kinks did I get, alright? I was a I was a faithful servant, whatever. This other fucking guy, what stake does he have in this? I'm so curious. <laughs> Although he's a lip, so it's probably not good. <sighs> what a fruitful endeavor this has been. I've sat in this horrible place for, I don't know, six hours, and got done. Well, I mean, you've dirtied your clothes, but, uh, you're still getting no respect, yeah, response from your mysterious patron. Boy, that's the worst part. Even if I do figure out how this thing works, you probably won't say anything to me. This is stupid. Why am I here? <laughs> Plot development. <laughs> I wanna figure this out. It would be hilarious if you just, uh, just heard that giggle back and he didn't say anything else. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be appropriate, honestly. Just the uh, deep and solid, <laughs> get a load of this guy, click. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> <laughs> like he's fucking King Kai. <laughs> Like he's a phone. <laughs> but yeah, this just cool. fruitless hours of trying to contact oh. your patron. Do I go home? Do I keep trying? This sucks. This sucks a lot. This is stupid. Eventually, you make your way back home, uh, smelling quite foul. This is why we have prestidigitation. Well, I, I mean, like a you can only Febreze yourself so much. I can clean it as well. And then I gotta, I mean, I smell bad, but my clothes are fixed up, and then I can go take a shower. <laughs> Man, you had just come from the bathhouse a couple hours prior to, so And now I smell it and now I smell like shit, so what do you what can you do? <laughs> now I hang out in sewers. Like it's not even an unusual thing to have spell circles in our home. There's at least two. Yeah, well I painted it there and I didn't feel like painting another one, right? <laughs> No, 
I, mean, I, I would honestly be surprised if there wasn't magic circles all over space room. Including <laughs> the furniture. And half of it's just today, mundane Bobby? shit, like making the chair push itself in after you get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, now that's canon. <laughs> what did we learn today? This room is fully Liches. automated with, with spell circles. Liches are assholes. Maybe I should read this book you gave me more. Maybe that would help. It's okay. It's fine, I didn't even want to talk to him anyway. But yeah, the hours grow late, night comes. Paige is probably falling asleep in the living room, reading his books. <laughs> I want to turn every goddamn page of this book of shadows since I don't have to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, li a little pile of books right next to Paige that he all read all of them, and he's just quietly asleep in the front of the the fireplace. Bro will eventually tire herself out, sharpening her uh, knife play. And the next morning comes, and uh, the house is unnaturally quiet. <laughs> that means it's time for breakfast. Speaking of, you arrive in the uh, dining room and first time in a while, breakfast isn't already prepared for you. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, uh, you know, uh, you can't expect everything of your workers every day. Yeah, so did you eat all my food? I just got here! What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm going to go knock on the door. Knock on Sorry? the door to the kitchen. I mean... Okay, fine. <laughs> I just enter. It's, like, it, it's a two-way door. Room. It doesn't even latch. Oh. So you knock and it kind of like opens a bit. <laughs> but yeah. None of the cookware is even warmed up, and Shori's absent. Huh. Well, something something strange is happening. Did I wake is, up that early? Is Josh on the table, or is just his tokens here just for being here? He's here. Uh, Joshua, you know what happened? I just woke up. How would I... This I got here after you. <laughs> uh, this is... This is... Uh, Paige... I don't, uh, I don't Paige want to say will, anything, but this seems a little strange. Paige will go to Hansel, take uh, a little piece of string from his clothes, and a small <laughs> piece of wood from somewhere, and make an unseen servant to prepare our meals. <laughs> I'm going to look for some of our other staff. Which will join you on that? Uh, also, check if Lord anything Lord. bad happened to Chori. Most of the rest of our workers are here. Chori, I uh, have like a living quarters or like, where's her bed? Uh, we have a staff, staff quarters. quarters. Staff quarters. Uh, well, the cleaners are still here. What's well, just gonna go to her room and? What about Droxus? Is he go here? through her stuff? No, he's not here. He typically oh. only shows up when we actually need him. 
<laughs> oh. Well, so the cleaners are still here, but... Like, no the one... most important yeah. person in the house just vanished. <laughs> hmm. You can do lo a lot in an empty stomach. Maybe they're outside. Looking, is it like, is there things packed up or is everything still there? Yeah, most of her stuff's still there, but, uh... Her, uh, travel wear is missing. Well, perhaps she just went out to shop, then. Like, no. Back to see there are any notes. Yeah, is there any notes, a calendar, or whatever book, schedule? Did she take time off and we just didn't know about it? Because <laughs> we don't schedule shit. <laughs> If anybody scheduled anything, it would have been Scribbler. And he doesn't appear to be in the house either. He is. He is. He's, he's at the vault. vault. He's always at the vault. Oh, yep. I'm blind as shit. Well, I mean, he's our accountant, but he probably does most of our paperwork, so... Let me go ask him about if if anyone is scheduled for leave. Good day. What? <laughs> Scribbler can only talk in uh, broken phrases. Right. I, I no. I meant I actually just didn't hear what you said. Good day. Ah, yes. Uh, hello, Scribbler. Um, what to do? Did, <laughs> did anybody um, uh, tell you they were leaving today or anything like that? Who the lady? <laughs> right. Yes. She, she told you she left? Gone by. Okay, great. <laughs> so... Thank you, Scribbler. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I fucking love Scribbler. Thank you for your I love uh, Scribbler. assistance, Scribbler. Okay, Everybody in this house loves Scribbler. Like, second really best help. character in the campaign. Well, non-playable character. So we know she is gone now. <laughs> But that doesn't mean much. <laughs> you didn't ask the reason. Nathan, break, missing family, man? Tell us! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she has her reasons. Yeah, she's probably doing... She's probably busy. And we have an unseen servant to take care of that now. So, she'll be back, probably. See the servant. I'm pretty sure you guys are incapable. Maybe not Paige so much, but you are incapable of cooking for yourself. Me? No, I, I don't know you guys are. Cook. I didn't learn how to cook. That was not one of the many skills I developed. My sister was always the uh, the cook. Speaking of, food's ready, and Paige made a fuck ton of food. I think Hansel's just gonna do a quick, like, walkthrough to see, like, what staff is here and what isn't. Or who isn't, sorry. Goddamn, you're already treating me like objects. That's <laughs> capitalism Fuck for you. It. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot keep painting me like the bad guy. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can. It, you just don't have to like it. <laughs> it was one verbal slip up. But yeah, everyone's here, save for Chori and Druxus. Well, okay. Nothing, nothing strange going on. Food. Oh right, I, I recall now. the uh, The fight is starting uh, tonight, like this evening. Ooh, fun. So what yes. all did Paige uh, cook for us? Sorry, what? Said so what all did Paige cook for us? 
Well, together with Unseen Servant, he made a bunch of, like, pancakes, eggs, bacon, and juice. A lot of juice. Very traditional breakfast, very nice. Very traditional breakfast. Very homey, reminds me of home. And a few, uh, like, uh, cakes. Those small ones. Forgot mm. the name. One for the scones. Muffins? <laughs> yeah. Muffins. No, Muffins. fucking hell, what's the, the fucking name? Let me search. He's <laughs> got whipped in the face by some putty. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> you think I was trying to? You weren't trying not to. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> Anger. <laughs> he is right. By the oh. way, Krell's digging in. Food time. Got a carbo load so we can uh, perform at our best. Just chewing on fistfuls of bacon. Very well, Steve. Very nice. A growing girl needs her protein to get big and strong. You whack people with a bat for fun. <laughs> I think that's about as strong as uh, anyone needs to be. It could hit stronger. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, enough. that's fair. I only have a negative one modifier to strength, so if it's not my hexblade weapon, I hit like really weakly with it. <sighs> Man. But, uh, hexblades get to use their, uh, charisma modifier for their chosen weapon, so. Hey. Well, and I'm man. really good at charisma. I am too. <laughs> Did you figure out what that cake was? Uh, no. Let's just leave it tea cakes. All right. <laughs> Gowns. I mean, I don't know if scones are called cakes anywhere. They're kind of more like biscuits than they are cakes. Yeah, scones. Had enough frosting, or yeah. not frosting, but like, you know, the glaze on them, yeah. they can become cakes. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, it's He just said that it's scones, so. Yeah, it was what I was thinking. Alright. He has a totally fucking weird name here. <laughs> so, Krell, how did the training go for you? Well, I think I come up with a couple new things. Oh, good. Just... How about you, Paige? Uh, I can't believe she chose the, the first guy instead of the second. <laughs> what? Uh, sorry? <laughs> I, thought it was, 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 uh, I thought you were asking what I read yesterday. Uh... No, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> well, I am always prepared. Great. I got the whole fucking lot of nothing done. What did you try to do? It doesn't matter, it didn't happen. But what did you try to do? <laughs> eh... I tried to make contact with the uh, the lich that presides over half my damn soul. Turns out, even in this little book he gave me, didn't tell me how to do that. So mm -hmm. I was just kind of banging my head against the wall. Do you need any help with that? I don't know. Do you know how to contact a lich you don't know? If I have his name... I don't have it. 
I think. Do I have his name? I don't think so. Anyway, what's in that book of you that he gave you? Uh, it's a lot of nonsense and languages I don't speak, but the parts I do speak just kind of help me with more magic. Let me see it. Okay. What, what do I find inside? Give me a second. <laughs> yeah. What exactly is in a book of shadows? I have no idea. Did I name him in my thing here? Nope. I, in fact, uh, directly stated he refused to name himself. <laughs> Probably stays in the Feywild a lot. I don't know why a lich would stay in the Feywild. I feel like that's kind of counterintuitive. Well, maybe. Just... I don't know. It's like you won't get much done from there. What needs done? He's immortal. He can literally spend a thousand years on a beach laying in the sun. Does your does your lich face the sun? I don't know. I don't know anything about him except that he wanted. Okay, me. You know, okay let's work work on this. Where did you go to, con to contact him? Maybe it's the location. It wasn't his I, area where he wanted to go in. Tell I, you a couple. I guess years now because we disappeared, but like, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I painted a, a circle in the sewers because I figured that would be a discreet enough place. You contact him in the sewers? I don't know if he needs me to Maybe. be somewhere. Again, he didn't tell me anything. He, he's barely spoken to me over the course of the last, like, okay. Okay, when you Have first... Have you ever thought that he might be offended that you tried contacting the sewers? I would be. Yeah, I don't... I'm not any, it's like... It's not in... like I was summoning him to the sewers. Like, he's well, not gonna feel the effects of being in a sewer. I'm pretty that sure he smells, would. You, know? you guys are really not being helpful. No, 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 okay, okay, okay. Where... When you first met him, in whatever... Hazy mind, I don't know how you came to be. I was in a grave. You were in a grave, okay. Yeah, six feet under. Six feet under, okay, that helps. What was he, like, was he, was his clothing fine? Because that can also, like, give you, in, like, intel on what's his status. I did you just saw his face? Him. Okay, I, I have a plan for you. Either. Okay, he I have a plan for you then. Me. We're gonna have to bury you six feet under again. And then you try doing that again. Woots, I will suffocate. No, 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 no. We'll make sure. I'm pretty sure they have a procedure on this. If you start running out of air, I think there's a bell you have to ring. That is a oh, those old bell cemeteries. It's supposed to be done in people who contract <laughs> diseases because sometimes they're not really dead. I don't think recreating the circumstance in which I was revived will uh, help. Can uh, I be the one that pushes you, you out of the tree? What? Can I be the one that pushes you out of the tree? No! <laughs> Why would you want to be the one that recreates the, the worst point of my life? You're right. You know what? Maybe, maybe we should throw you a funeral, then bury you, and just see what happens. But It'll be nicely so tested. You can. Gone. You guys are not. <laughs> you have good intentions when you're saying the worst <laughs> things. <laughs> good intentions. I, I just want to see what happens. What? Good intentions. I just want to see what happens. I'm going to do you bad things know. to you when I get the chance. Oh, you won't. <laughs> Anyway, but, uh, what, what did I found on his book of shadows? Yeah. No matter how hard you try, you can't make any sense of anything in it. Yeah, that's about what I expected. No, no, no. So you really didn't understand what's in here, Ren Hansel? Not 
super well. Oh, it's, this is child's play, really. <laughs> really? Is that... Yep. Read first me the paper. first passage. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Look, I'm not going to translate the book for you. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Hand it, give it back. Uh, yeah. But I can help you make some circles later. I don't know if making more circles is gonna help, because I don't know how to contact the guy. <laughs> Maybe you have to put the circles where he's wor like thinks is worthy. So it either the graveyard, in a grave with you in it, or just somewhere classy, not the sewers. Maybe you seem a worthy attached to the idea of putting me in a grave. Verge of like throwing you a funeral. Make sure it's very tasteful. You can put in your input too, but everyone needs to be prepared for these things. I mean. The garden of flowers present at my gravestone leads me to believe that I had a decent funeral. Well, I, I wasn't there to see it, so I have to make sure it was a nice funeral. I know you weren't there. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you know who was there? My... Maybe she was. Maybe my sister was at my funeral. Was she? I don't know. Probably not, now that I think about it. You, by chance? Where is she now? Somewhere here, I think. You think? The only person... I, I wandered around for a good long while, okay? Asking anybody and everybody if they'd seen someone who matches her description. She's... You know, I don't think she's a very common-looking person. She's got a, a mixture of uh, rare genetics. Oh, I and see. The one per you. And the one person I met who did know her, or knew somebody that matched her description, was an ex-member of this organization. So, that's the best lead I have right now. If she's not with them, I'm I'm lost. Oh, I know where my, all my family members are. It's not... <laughs> what, yeah? Where? On the top of my head, Will puts his head out. I see. Very sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this has been educational. Uh... What now? What? What? What do I spend the rest of this day doing? We're gonna find a more classier place where you can talk to your patron. I don't. The whole point of this is that I'm. I. It's. I really would prefer if it could be somewhere discreet. That way, uh, I'm not contacting a, a lich in broad day, broad light. We don't get the sun down here. I forgot about that. Speaking of broad daylight, uh, Woods, do you know there are people who bathe in the sun? What? Oh, yes. Are they followers of the sun? Uh, some are. But some people just like to bathe in the sun. Aren't they worried about their eyes? They or their know. souls? The sun can't take your soul. That's not the thing it does. Well, sometimes it does. You don't know that. Exactly. Oh, the souls do that? The like... saying about that? I lived under the sun for like at least 12 years. I think. Look what it happened! You came out of a grave where a glitch or a lich had to pull you out. He probably saved you from the sun. If I was under the ground, how would the sun have done anything to me? I don't know. And also, I was buried for ten years, so he took his sweet fucking time saving me from the sun. Maybe he's trying to dodge the sun. You gotta think these things through. Woods, you are my friend, but you're... You need to... You really need to just, like, read one book about the sun, or... Anything, anything out there outside of our world. 
Don't do that. What's books about the sun carry the energy of the sun? No, they fucking don't. That's not a thing. That's, that doesn't exist. That's not real. <laughs> You're not gonna make me into a cult member of the sun. Don't try to fool me. He brings Woods, one of the holy books, of one of the many sun gods. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be super hilarious whenever our adventure shifts to the outside instead of the under that. This has been one. This has been a morning of my life. <laughs> not the not the good one. Not the bad one. Just a one. <laughs> Anyway, the, the Unseen Servant is already preparing his second breakfast, so we have a time what? to that. Se second? Why do you need a second breakfast? Because we are going to ha get hungry? In like 30 minutes? Nah. About an hour or two. Then we have 11 seas. Okay. You would. You can eat uh, a second breakfast. I I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's not that. Maybe I'll read this book a bit more and actually kind of look at it. You said your sister had a unique uh, description. What was it again? Put on my Google Doc. You just, you just give me a second here. And well, firstly, uh, her eyes were two separate colors. She had a, a disorder. One of them was blue, and one of them was green, which I believe that neither of those matched my parents' eye color. So. Something funky happened there. Was she the uh, daughter of the neighbor? What? Was she the daughter of the neighbor? What are you implying? It happens. Sometimes the mother can find a lover. Was her was your father not satisfying her? I heard that's a thing. <sighs> Okay, she I think could also I'm... be adopted. She was that too? She was she was absolutely my biological sister. Okay. Well, anyway, two different color eyes. What else? Um, she was the only person in my family born with platinum blonde hair, whereas my father had the uh, brown hair. My mother had the. Uh, a lovely blonde. Not sure if that's... Not sure if that's... Uh, something to tout, but... I'm pretty sure those genes don't match up. And, so, and uh, she was... Uh, very short. Well, I mean, I'm short, but... At least in human standards. But she was shorter than most people in our village. And, um... Her complexion was a fair bit pastier than most of us. At least in terms of... And she was, a. Uh, I'm not sure... She did practice, a. Uh, under the Twilight Ward with us, but she didn't pertain to any of the magic. But she also... Did use magic? I, it's... I don't quite recall. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. She was very good at, um, hunting. She had a very keen nose, which was helpful. Although I don't know who sends a, uh, a ten-year-old hunting. Hmm. 
point is, uh, a lot of these things were matched to a person that allegedly was or is in the syndicate. And that's what matters. Either they're in the syndicate or uh, they're in Nevermore. That's why I'm here at all. Question. What was her name? Her name was a Geo. Geo. G I O. Geo. Geo Vastikov. Have you checked the CD's records? No, I I don't have the uh, capabilities to just break into town hall like Woods does. Places. I stumble upon them. Really? It's super easy to break in there. Well, I don't like breaking the law that much. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not, okay? Why is it every time that somebody's being dissected at this table, it's me? Here's the... Uh, because you are the least strange one. And Paige tends to dissect people upstairs. <laughs> oh That's boy. True. Okay. I think maybe I'm done here. I think maybe I need to take a walk or something. Because, uh. This is a lot. You just put me through a lot of things sometimes. I like talking. We're here to listen. Or vent out your frustrations, that's okay. Woots, you unironically suggested burying me alive. For... Which... I... You not a bad are... idea. It's not favorable, I understand that. It's the way you have hurt, okay? Yes. It definitely could. How? How quickly do you think you can un you could shovel up six feet of dirt to keep me from well, suffocating? Well, technically, I think it would be five feet of dirt, depending on the coffin dimensions. And if you've got oh. the mold earth spell, that could be instant. <laughs> Who has mold earth? <laughs> Does uh, anybody have that I don't spell? think anybody. There you go. If you die in there, I can re reanimate your corpse and you are up in six seconds. Yes, as a mindless zombie. Still outside the coffin. <laughs> also, don't count them mindless, they have feelings. Listen, uh, being half a zombie is already bad enough. I don't need to be a full one. No, and also, the idea, the idea of only being able to act on your orders is genuinely my worst nightmare. <laughs> I won't tell you to do anything strange. Don't worry about it. That's not the. P I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take a walk. You do that. I'm gonna finish getting ready for this fight. The fight today. Is it later? Yes, it's, it's in the evening. Oh. Yeah, apparently this person's kicked all types of ass in their professional career, so it's gonna be a tough Ooh. one. Exciting. Are the fights individuals, or like we are going to get in groups? It's a 1v1. Oh shit. It's fine. Is there anything to kind of help boost her up? Uh, <sighs> pretty much any kind of confidence booster would be great. <laughs> As far as actual combat theory, I think Krell's is stacked up as she could be right now. <laughs> the only thing I don't oh, have yeah. is enough levels in Bard to give herself Bardic Inspiration. Uh, 
1v1s are not very much my style. I think the only 1v1 I won was against Hanso. Boy, that's not... That doesn't feel good to know. I mean, you were pretty much <laughs> almost dead at that fight, so... I mean, that whole thing was 1v1, so you would have had to, want to win at least one fight to get there. Ooh. Anybody else have anything they're doing with their day? I'm gonna break into City Hall. <laughs> Not going back to that. Because of Fucking course you are. Think maybe I'll uh, after my my cleansing walk and a good like jug of water to calm myself. It's time to read this fucking book. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna look at this. I'm gonna figure it out. Hansel drinks more water than I do, probably. I certainly hope so. Someone is, I can hear somebody on the phone in my house and it's bothering me. Paige is going to need a new coat. <laughs> Paige can knit? Paige loves knitting. I, no I thought idea. it was established already. Yeah. Maybe Paige, he did, and I just don't remember. Paige has a lot of menial hobbies. <laughs> yeah, if like you're he's to a... immortal, that's probably a good thing to do. Yeah, he's a, like a crazy uh, evil halfling, but he's still a halfling. Guy just wants to live life. I just can respect that. Life. Alright, so what is Woots looking for at Town Hall? Basically, gonna see if I can look up the name of uh, Hansel's sister. Oh, so you're just Might looking... steal the entire section of whatever her last the last name was that was given to me. Vastikoff. So, Vastikoff, yeah. Not exactly a common name. I know, so I might steal all the V's. Just because I can. <laughs> and is that Rux? Just stealing that the whole folder. folder. Yeah, well, however, like the first two letters, V, whatever. How do you, how do you spell it? Best, Yay. It's just V. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in chat. I was about to say, it should be. Yeah, you can see it. It is on my sheet, but. Whatever. I was about to say, we could see each other's sheets. Hopefully she didn't marry, otherwise she has a different name. Or, you know, just go through the process of legally changing it, or... Who's gonna yeah, fact-check her? <laughs> yep, I'm basically looking up, um, seeing if she's a resident or anything like that for Hansel. Yeah, Alright, so yeah, you grab that whole folder and you just... Head on to the alley out back and just start scrolling through the pages. And, uh, that name is not amongst them. Hmm. I'd probably start with the J's. Is that rug still in the... office? Uh, the really tacky one that you already stole and destroyed? I stole I stole the curtains. I I thought I'd come back for the rug, but apparently I went on a three year trip. Is it still there, or did they get rid of it? Oh, that thing got worn to shit and thrown out. Oh, damn! So they didn't put new curtains in there? Oh, there's new curtains. They're just not as nice as the old ones were. Interesting design on them, or is it pretty bland? Bland. What the fuck happened to our curtains? <laughs> <laughs> Grace, I'm gonna. Is there like a bottle of ink somewhere on the desk? Uh, more than likely. 
Okay, I'm gonna do, get the ink and just throw it at the curtains. <laughs> I'm making a splatter. They gotta get rid of these. <laughs> uh, he's got a personal vendetta against some random bureaucrat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fashion or design decor sense. I am disappointed, and I just sleep after I'm done with that. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we regroup near the end of the day and head off towards the uh, Temple of Greed again. It's it is. It is time for a small child to stab people again. How exciting. It must have happened like at least a hundred times. Is there anything more fun than that exact set of words happening at any given time? No. I feel much better now that I went on a, a nice walk. Just got your mind straight. Ah. Not thinking about uh, how I died anymore. So, yeah. We're probably, we're probably set for a good couple days now. As long as we don't uh, talk about burying me alive again. Well, I mean... We could have made the burying you alive thing just an illusion, but... I don't think that would have helped. Would have made me feel better. Okay, well... Maybe you don't have to be in the cot or be buried, just stay in the hole. <laughs> I really don't understand where this idea of, like recreating the circumstances the only way to do this came from if you want to start at the beginning or if you want to find the answer you got to start at the beginning of everything that's what's what's logic you got to start back well i mean if you really want to be pedantic the beginning was a inky black limbo with some colored balls of light approaching me. So, uh, you know, I was kind of dead when that happened. So good luck recreating that. In a dark environment, I'm pretty sure Paige has, or Krill has some magic to make the balls. We just gotta get you in the hole. Again, I was dead. Mm. There's magic for that. Or... Oh boy. Man, Th there's guess... literally a spell for faking your own death. <laughs> yeah, it's called feign death. <laughs> One of the many spells I could take. But yeah, making our way into the casino. It seems a little more uh, jam-packed than normal. Boy. Dude, they're excited for this. Well, how often do you see a champion versus champion fight? Ticket sales point. are probably off the charts. Speaking of, I'm assuming at least one of you brought betting money. Well, yeah, I did. Uh, do I have a pocket change? Let me look. No. <laughs> I don't think 15 gold pieces is going to go very far. Why are you only walking around with 15 gold? Because I forgot, I, sometimes I forget to take things out of the, the vault, okay? I didn't think I was going to need money, especially if I planned on competing. <laughs> uh, if you recall, yes. Hansel wasn't even invited to participate. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. This is like a this is like a whole like event match. It's not yeah. like an open invite thing. Yeah, it's champion to champion style. Only Paige and Crow got invites. What is happening? 
And since Paige is going to fight, he's not going to bring any money. <laughs> Where did my wife go wrong? No, because he lost to me. That's not. Yeah, what? You know what? Sure. Why not? Let's go with that one. Oh, oh boy. Well, Krell's moving forward. <laughs> kind of just standing at the door while blocking people from getting in right now. Yeah, they're not us. They can deal with it. <laughs> they're not protagonists. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah, we head down into the lower levels of the <coughs> temple once more to a uh, another different arena, much smaller, much more cozy. Hmm. One of you has got this. I don't know which one, but one of you will win this. I can feel it. Oh, right, as we uh, approach the actual arena itself, there's a uh, whole list of competitors. Uh, about seven or eight names, including Paige and Krells. Yeah. And it appears that, that uh, about half of them have already competed. Wow. And I mean, that's just impressive. There's even lists of how long the fights went and uh, general statistics. One of the fights yeah. only lasted a mere 12 seconds. Wow. Ooh. What kind of monster is this guy? I don't know, but I'm getting even more excited now. Yeah. Because you're probably going to win. I'll fill her head with that. She's gonna do great. Yeah. When does Krell not do great? Paige, I'm worried about because this is a. Uh, this person seems like they're very physically confrontational, and you are, well, <laughs> not that. Well, if I yeah. do recall, the last time we we're here, you beat me half to death with a hammer. That was me. <laughs> that's not. That's not the same. <laughs> and also. I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't, you were fine. I had every ability to make sure you were okay. Yeah, yeah, beating up the blind girl with a hammer, that's very safe to do. I'm going to strangle you to death. I'm going Maybe. to kick you until my leg comes apart. <laughs> You can try. W's today. No W's for Hansel. Well, it's not long before uh, one of the management staff comes up to Krell and let her know she's next. Oh boy. For honor. You got this. You got this, Krell. Oh, Krell is a ball of nerves as uh, she heads down and prepares to enter the arena. When the announcer calls out, and I have to switch music before I forget. Play, please. Thank you. Uh, the announcer calls out. And now! This is the moment you've been waiting for. Introducing first, fighting out of the left corner, with a professional record of seven wins and one loss, standing at four feet two inches of pure terror, and hailing from Cragmore Castle. We have one half of your reigning tag team champions, the Blind Bandit, Krell the Wild Fang. 
The crowd goes wild. This crow enters the arena wearing her uh, blindfold and cloak, as she does. It's part of her fighting getup. Uh, she pulls off her cloak, throwing it to the ground with a heavy thump as she takes up her fighting stance with a dagger in each hand. Uh, the crowd once again uh, begins to applaud as a woman in full plate steps into the arena before cast away, casting away her helm to reveal her aged face, pale yet rugged, with wispy white hair braided down to the shoulders. Whoa. Uh, are we supposed to be seeing the arena right now? Not yet. Oh dear. Yeah, Krell can't determine age with her abilities. <laughs> and oh. now, introducing her opponent, fighting out of the right corner, holding a professional record of 376 wins and zero losses. Oh. Towering over her opponent at six feet four inches and hailing from water deep. We have the personification of domination known as Lady Bonebreaker. Ladle Utensilian. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Do you think I was oh, done yeah, no, with the not. Utensilian clan? <laughs> I, I recognize that name. <laughs> As do I. That's Spoon's mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. Wait till we got art for her. Oh my god, I gotta see this. <laughs> oh dear. Look at that. How perfect. <laughs> that well, is... <laughs> Krell's got this. I believe in... I believe in Krell. Uh, I've made, made Boy, this character a... uh, too, too strong for Krell that I'm rereading the stats. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like the implications of that. I already have my next letter to Spoon. <laughs> mom? Uh, I'm sure he'll find on your mom. <laughs> Lady Bonebreaker, huh? I, I see where you got it from now. <laughs> well, uh... As you recall from your various lore, she was also a gladiator. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? I need an arena fighter who never suffered a loss. Going through my notes. Oh, wait. <laughs> yep. I definitely uh, remember saying that. <laughs> I, I had so many various bits and you... pieces about Spoon Lord. You could have said uh, any. F you could say fucking anything came out of my mouth and I would believe you. <laughs> I cannot use this integrate. I can't kill Spoon's mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like anything is ever fatal here anyway. Well, except for the one time that it was. Because that was kind of the yeah. point. I mean, with this integrate, it's, it's very much no way back. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can get wished back, but... Yeah. I don't think there's enough left for any of the other reanimation spells. But, uh... Yeah. How exciting. Carl gets to fight this. Uh, question to DM. Yep. What's most likely, how many people can, like, where, like, if I was to enter, like, throw darkness down into the pit, who might frown upon that where I'm standing, or where it's just standing? 
Uh. Well, obviously, if someone hears you casting or sees you performing the motions to cast, that would probably not be a great thing. And considering this is a fight of the highest honor. Anything about that? I just don't want the little uh, Krell to get hurt. Okay. Krell's not my options. gonna get hurt. It'll be fine. Worst comes to worst. I Why have is this a... song in my boss playing playlist? <laughs> worst comes to worst. I have a very uh, generous amount of ways to uh, to make Krell not hurt anymore. Once this fight is over. That could be interpreted in a lot of ways. Mad you. Or not. You know what I meant. Well, yeah, we get a little bit of uh, stretching out of the way, limbering up. And, uh, Ladle is not a weak older woman by uh, any remote uh, imagining. Definitely fills out that six foot four frame. And, uh, being 71 years of age, that says a lot. I actually had to go back and look up the difference between Spoon and Whisk's ages to approximate when Whisk would or when Spoon would have been born to be logical. Yeah, sometimes I sometimes I forget that like math exists. And you yeah. kind of have to keep track of some of that stuff. Yeah, especially having three different characters from the same genealogy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, post stretching and getting ready. So. Should we go all out from the beginning? I'd have it no other way, dear. So be it. Loki. Yata. Stefna. Ooh. Fancy magic. <laughs> uh, it's just words given power. <laughs> but, uh... Carl's body begins to emit kind of a uh, dull light around it. Uh, very similar to when she would change into Loki. But the light's just like pouring out from within and her standard clothes and armor are very quickly replaced by Asgardian steel. Her dark hair turns almost silvery. Oh dear. And Loki's spear once again forms in her ready and waiting hand. Krell spent a lot of time training. And now, her Loki form is her Valkyrie form. Yo, that's sick! <laughs> that's really cool. Holy shit! And you would not believe how long the art took me to do. <laughs> the only difference is, not thinking about it, I put her fucking bat in it instead <laughs> of the spear. <laughs> But, uh, post-Krell transformation, that is where we shall end for today. <laughs>